Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have been gone for a little bit. I had a baby girl back in July, so that's why I haven't really been putting out videos, but I'm ready to get back in the swing of things. Um, today, I am going to be demoing and talking about my thoughts on the James Charles Times Morphe palette. Here's the eyes I would recommend. So today's look, I use um, Max Paint Pot and Groundwork. Um, NYX also has a eyeshadow base. This is the skin tone one. And then also you can just get a regular eye primer. This is from NYX too. This is the Prefit water eyeshadow, waterproof eyeshadow primer palette. I got some hand marks on it. Sorry about that. And then here's the palette. She is stunning. So, if you are interested in seeing me create this look, keep on watching. It's on the Morphe Times James palette. Here's a, the um, packaging for it. Unleash your inner artist. And he has his note on the back. Um, I'm not really a big fan of Morphe. I don't use a lot of Morphe products. And I went back and forth about this palette. Here it is, all 39 pan products. I do have some of the brushes. The brushes that I own, they're pretty good. I did this palette initially because I have I love sugar pills, colorful shadows. I want to kind of compare how it blended out and you know just review it for you guys. I'm just doing a simple look. Um, as I said, I had a baby five months ago, so now that I'm a mom, I do really simple looks that won't um, take up too much time. I already put my bake on. I use the Derm Derma Blend. Um, powder. I like that powder just to catch any fallout. And then I'm using the MAC Paint Pot and Groundwork. The base all blended out. I'm going to take a Morphe 532. Is that right? M532. This is similar to the MAC 224. And then I'm going to dip into I should know this hold on I'm gonna dip into Cole James this nice orange color orangey brown I love orangey brown in the crease and I'm just gonna coat that brush and this is gonna be like my transition color um, to kick off that color I'm gonna use on the lid so I'm just going to put this in the crease. See, that's nice. It's a nice color. I love um, burnt oranges. So I'm just going to keep um, building this color up in the crease. I mean, above the crease until I get the um, payoff that I want. On my lid. So I'm doing like a monochromatic look today and I still wanted to put this look up because even though it's not too complicated, it still is colorful and it still looks nice, if that makes sense. So I just took Cole James and 10% off and I mixed them to create this nice orangey transition color. So the next color I'm going to take is Love That. And this is one of the pressed pigments, so that's why he was suggesting to use a paint pot. So I have this coated on this brush, and I'm just going to sweep this in the crease and build it up. I'm just going to take my little Hello Kitty here, and bam, look at that. That That is nice. The pigment is nice. So I'm just going to keep sweeping this with this blending brush and blending it. You see how it's nicely blending in with those other shades that I laid down? See, that's nice. That's pretty. That is pretty. It's going to take a little bit more. It's like, boom. And I'm just, just put my fingers, like, at the end of the brush. So it could be a lighter um, blend. You can probably hear baby girl in the background. Just it. You can always wipe your brush off. I always keep like a towel. I have like black towels for my makeup on. Again, and I'm going to take it on the other side. So just like algebra, you got to do the same 
thing on both sides, okay? <laughs> And you can build this this um, color up. I like to just start with a little and then, you know, build it up as I go gradually. So this is some Morphe brushes that were kind of scratchy. So I'm going to take a, a little bit of this uh, Cold James color and just lightly put it above and just blend it out a little bit. I just have a little bit on my brush and I'm just gonna, oops, just gently blend that into that color right underneath my brow bone. So it's like a seamless blend. You see? Um, so I think that looks good. And then we're gonna take a flat brush from BH Cosmetics, this brush. It came in like a 12 piece set. These are really good brushes by the way. Ooh, sorry guys, it's a big pile to hold in the frame. So I'm gonna take this brush and I'm just gonna take Love That again and I'm putting that on the lid. Wow, look at that. The pigment for this palette is definitely there. Um, like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of Morphe, but I, I really wanted to try this palette out and I don't regret picking it up. I think it's pretty good. Um, I still love Sugar Pill, and there's some other brands I want to try out. Um, will I gravitate to Morphe Shadows in the future? Probably not, but I'm glad I tried this one out because it really, when I got it, it really inspired me to do different looks. And I know this is a simple look. It's not um, too intricate like some of the um, ones that have been on Instagram and even on YouTube, but I mean... It still looks nice and it still is wearable. So I wanted to do a wearable look that didn't take that much time, that still looked nice, and you just have to blend. So like blend for your life. It's it's beautiful. Um, so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side on this to brown my eyes, and I'm not having any problems. And even with me wearing this look, I've wore this look like this is my third time wearing this look. I didn't have any staining. I'm not saying that you can't get staining because I've definitely had staining from other shadows. Pinks and purples will stain your eyes and reds will stain your eyes. Palette didn't stain my eyes. I'm getting a little follow-up, but it's not that big of a video. I have a lot of bright colors, but I think it's nice just to have one in one palette. Here called Spooky and just set that gel liner. It's gonna be very gentle because this is a black. Morphe 514 on yet. So I'm gonna take a love that and put it on this little brush and like gently Kind of merging it in with that black. And then I'll just bring that black down a little bit more. And just smoke it out like that. And I'm gonna do the other side and then I'm gonna go on with Code James and just smoke it out even further. And then we'll be on to, um, I'm gonna finish that and then I'll come back to you guys with my final thoughts. Here's the eyes done. I used about four four colors from the palette, but I like this because it's wearable and if you're in a pinch, you can just throw this on quick. Let me take this off. Max um, Retro Lip Matte Liquid Lip Color in So Me and then Max um, Chestnut Liner. So here's my final look and just getting into my thoughts on the palette I do think the palette is worth picking up like I said I'm not a big Morphe fan I do have a few of their brushes um, they are affordable brushes they're not the best so this is my first ever Morphe palette trying out and so far I like it um, it does come with the insert with all the colors so 
be mindful of that. Don't get rid of it. Really do think it's worth picking up and putting in your collection. I like the fact that it's affordable. Getting a lot of colors in one palette that you can play with. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Bye.